Here are just a few follow-up reminders. Um, again, we're with dreaded disclosures for your one hour CE. Uh, the first one is update this disclosure if there's any changes. Uh, a derecho comes through, a hailstorm, and um, you had a chimney collapse. Um, there was a fire at the property, on and on and on. Anything new that pops up now must be disclosed. And even if the issue was repaired, you must have it disclosed. Um, for example, you've got an attic fire and um, all of the trusses and support beams and electrical was replaced. Even though it's new, all brand new and in working order and everything's great now, you still must disclose the past history. Um, here's another reminder again that you're not an attorney. I like to bring this up often just to make sure that we're not giving any legal advice. And again, if at any point your clients say they'd like to speak to an attorney, that's their prerogative to do. Um, we mentioned this in the first video when we started out together for this course, that the seller disclosure must be filled out even if the owner lo never lived in it. So a flip, landlord, new construction, they must fill it out even though they've never lived in it. One question that came up um, to an attorney that I was uh, listening to speaking um, about disclosures. I mentioned this in the last video. If I'm taking a listing, is it my duty to go back and research every other disclosure from when the property sold that's attached to the MLS to all these past um, listings when it's, like I said, sold previously? Am I as the listing agent responsible for going back and digging and sifting through all of that? This attorney's answer was, no, that is not needed unless you previously represented the property in any of those sales. Then obviously you've got firsthand knowledge of disclosure. And then that is what makes the difference is that you previously had it listed. This is not in um, necessarily disclosure related, um, but I think that we wouldn't be doing our jobs if we didn't have this um, part of it. If you are an agent um, who is carrying heirs omissions insurance, which you are required to do by law, the good thing is you've got protection, right, with ENO insurance. The negative side of that is it can make you a target because if one party decides to sue, they very well are going to have representation that says, who all has money to recover damages for this? And you as an ENO um, insure, insured uh, is going to make you a target. And um, not to say that negative, um, but that sometimes comes up. And again, anytime you've got someone that mentions um, and you feel like you're going to need that ENO policy, please make sure that you get with your broker as soon as possible. This has been Disclosure Reminders, and up next, a brief quiz so we can end.